I am buzzing and can't wait to get started on today's video. I woke up and I was like, honey, let's get this bread. Yes, that's right. Today's video is all about phantoms. I'm just kidding. Yes, we're going to be building with blocks added in 1.15. Can you guys stop dying and just die already? Anytime now and thank you. So yes, we're going to be building with blocks added in 1.15. But we also have bees. And I did some experiment with these little guys. I locked two of them in a cage with a chicken. And to my surprise, they didn't hurt the chicken. I even punched both of them to anger them a little bit. They either have a stronger will than me, or they are friends with the chickens, which means I can't be friends with them. Just kidding, I, I love the bees. So 1.15 wasn't the biggest of updates. However, it did add in some new blocks. And rather than try out what they do and how interesting they are, I'm gonna do what I always do, build a house out of them. So these are the four new blocks. We have the bee nests, we have the bee hives, we have the honey blocks, and we have the honeycomb block. Oh my gosh, I love honeycomb. It tastes so delicious, I just wanna eat this block. Now when I look at this, I see four perfect building blocks. We have our wall here, great texture, looks interesting. Look at the top of this block, a great plank floor. Beautiful. This block is pretty see-through. A window. And finally, a honeycomb roof because honey put the comb on the roof. That's what you always hear people say. So let's, let, let's, yeah. But we can't build here. We're in like the middle of this weird jungle biome place. So instead, we're gonna find a biome more suitable. Now that we've done these blocks, the one thing else that was added in was bees. So bees really like flowers. So I guess we should try and find a flowery biome to build this house. Aha, uh -huh. this is looking like a very flowery biome right here. However, there's not much even ground, so we'll have to change that. Side note, if you wanna clear leaves very quickly, change your random tick speed to 3000 and they will just disappear as quickly as this. Ready? Boom, look at that. Oh, you didn't really see, but look here. Look, they move so quickly, I love it. So we're gonna do a bit of maintenance in this area. Let's see if we can get it looking nice and build worthy. Not gonna lie, I kinda miss world edit, but no, we gotta use the latest version of Minecraft where there's no mods yet, so I've gotta do everything by hand, like using water to get rid of flowers. Look at that, what a beautiful space, perfect for building. We've got our building blocks ready, but you know what? Let's go for a weird style. Because we've only got these four blocks, we're gonna have to get creative. And I also don't have stairs, so I'm gonna use some circles for walls in this, which I wouldn't normally do because they don't look good with stair roofs. But we're using B blocks, who cares? I've just looked a bit closer. I wanna make a bigger house than the space we have here. So let's clear out some of this stuff and let's also clear out some more of this greenery. We're gonna have to flatten the land, maybe push it up a little bit, all the way over to here maybe. I'm gonna try and do that cool thing where I click at the end of the sentence and the scenery completely changes. Get ready. Whoa, would you look at that? How cool was that? Not really, not much changed. But we have a big space now, as you can see here, to build our house. So I guess we better start with the building. So this is what I mean when I'm saying funky shapes. Look at this, we've got like a curvy bit here, another curvy bit here. In fact, actually I might change that to more of a pointed bit. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. But we're gonna add some more curves in and make this look real funky. Yes, I know I'm saying funky and I'm 26 year old and I know I'm playing Minecraft. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There we go, very nice and weird shape. You can see I've got another curve there, but where should we put the door? Like, I didn't actually think about this really. Um, okay, let's put it here. Maybe? I think that would look good. No, no, wait, here. Yeah, that'll be good. And now to build this floor up. So I was a bit wary when using these honey blocks to see if they would actually be see-through, but they're not bad, to be honest. I'm hoping they do actually let in light. We'll have to find out when we put, like, a roof on this thing. I'm also very used to using glass panes when it comes to adding windows in, but you can't really do corners or circles like that with glass panes, so I'm going to take advantage of being able to use blocks for once and add in some curved windows. Unusual for my building style. The Bottom floor is complete. All the windows are looking in. It's looking beautiful. Get it? Bees, bees, buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, I'm just shutting up now. Time to add in the floor using these beehives. This should be fun. My gosh, I forgot how long it took to clear grass without world edit. I've been knocking this down for what feels like 10 minutes. But we can finally start adding the planks in, which is nice. And I've just noticed that the pattern actually changes depending on which way you place it. So we gotta go through and change all these. I didn't even realize I'd done Although, I could use this for my advantage and make like a little crisscross pattern? 
That could look pretty cool, actually. It's gonna take longer, but look, it looks pretty cool, I think. I don't know what it is about this, but that just looks so satisfying. I love it. Now we have to fill in all the other planks, though, which is not gonna be so satisfying for me to do. But it's gotta be done. The bee house will be complete. Oh my gosh, I've only just realized that the bee nest looks different from different angles you look at it. Like on the front, it's got the little holes. I didn't even realize this, and my house is just random. But you know what? I quite like the random look. In fact, I'm gonna add little dots of the holes around and make it look sort of like random in that way so it's not all the same. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, I think. I'm happy with that. All right, all right, all right. The floor is done. I'm glad I went for the crisscross pattern in the end. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with that. But now we're gonna get working on the next floor and I'm actually not gonna build it all up. I'm gonna leave some bits behind and leave them a single story. So I think I'll just be the two on the right. Let's see, shall we? All right, so we did actually keep most of the front, but round the side, we've got a little bit here, which I think I'm actually gonna add a little window into right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then round the side here, we've also got another little curved dome, and we've also got this really weird one, which kind of points out, goes upward, looks a bit strange, but I'm actually digging it. I think it looks pretty good. And now we have to add the floor inside here, and we're not gonna do the crisscross again, as that just took too long. Instead, we'll just do a standard pattern. Also, I'm just adding in some walls out here, so this becomes a usable room. Five agonizing minutes later, that could be done in three seconds with World Edit. Here we have our staircase and our top floor. The staircase is pretty simple. Obviously, you can't have stairs, but it's not too dark down here. I'm glad that the honey actually lets in light. There's a few dark spots, as you can see here, but the majority of it is pretty lit up, which I'm very happy with. Oh, and none of these blocks glow, which is a shame. So let's get working on the next floor up. I'm going to have some bits like that again, but I'm not entirely sure exactly what I'm going to do. You know what? This bit here, I think I might make into a dome. I'm going to raise it up a little bit and then I'm going to have like a domed roof in like a circle. You can kind of see where it'd be like an outline there. Maybe a bit hard to incorporate, but we're going to try it, you know. You asked for a dome? Well, you didn't, but I gave you one anyway. Here it is. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks pretty good. It looks quite cool next to the rest of the house. It's going to be interesting to see how I can make it work with the rest of the third floor. Wait, did I just hear a monster? What the heck is that? What are you guys doing down here? You know what? Screw this. Get gone. Thank you. Goodbye. The next floor is looking pretty interesting. We've got like sort of three long bits that come out. I'm trying to make it look as funky as possible. I need to stop saying funky. I'm so sorry. I've noticed when I do builds like this where I'm limited to only four blocks, I will actually be more creative with my houses. Like normally I just do a square house, but with this, I've gone for something a bit different. And I like doing these videos because of that reason. I'm not sure how this roof is going to work though. Uh, it's looking a bit weird. Each roof top bit is actually all a different size, so uh, that's going to look a bit strange. Hopefully it'll look alright though. Time to get the delicious honeycomb block out though and start building this roof. Yum, yum, yum. Alright, we're looking good. I'm really liking the different tiers of this house. I think it really looks something special. And there you have it. The roof looks okay. It does look a bit weird still. I think it could use with a something little bit extra. As on this side, it's looking pretty empty. Let's add some windows in and stuff, make it look a bit better. And voila, there you go. I've actually added in one on the front as well, just to give it a little bit more detailing. And I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. However, there is one thing I promised at the beginning that I was gonna use, which I haven't used yet. And I know exactly where to use them. And those are our buzzy boys. Oh, I kind of feel bad like putting them on a lead as they're just so cute. Look at his little tail, oh, he's so cute. But we're gonna do it anyway. So let's use some fences on the outside here. Make a little entrance bit. B1, B2, B... I think you know where this is going. Look at that, isn't that just the perfect entrance to a house? If I saw that, I'd be absolutely buzzing. Because <laughs> because bees, get, get it, get it. And we need a banister on the stairs, otherwise people could get hurt and fall down. But they will definitely hear the staircase before, and that's okay. In fact, let's see if we can add quite a few on. Look at that. Lots of bees. Now, unfortunately, you can't make a crafting table out of bees, but I would if I could. I have a staircase to the top floor here. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, but yeah, here you can see this is up the top floor. Looking pretty good. Lots of windows, lots of light. Still nice and bright, to be honest, despite there not being as many windows. We've got a lot of walls here. It's very dangerous. You could just fall down this. So uh, let's add some bees into make sure that doesn't happen. These guys have no purpose other than to, to just fly around and do nothing. I know they're actually useful and can bone meal your crops and stuff, but oh well. I'm just using them because they look cute and I'm literally just adding so many in that is it's almost cruel. 
But hey, these are worker bees, like most bees, and I am the queen bee. I may not look it, but I am, okay? Wait, did that one just escape? What do you think you're doing? Get back here, come on. Get on there. Thank you very much. Good bees, good bees. Right, that might just be perfect, but there it is. A beehive for the queen bee, which is me, of course. I'm pretty happy with this. This is unlike anything that I've ever really built. A lot different to my usual build style, but I'm glad I got to experiment. It's been a lot of fun. So there you have it, guys. That's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did enjoy, and I shall see you another time. Goodbye.